Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change the features of your login screen. So first we need to download a program called Seashore, which is like Photoshop, but it's free and it's a little bit different, not as complex. But I already have that downloaded right there. So another thing we need to do is, is get a generic picture of the login screen. So I'm going to take this one, drag that to the desktop, don't need that or that. And I'm going to want to change the lo the Apple logo on the login screen, so I want, to, I want it to be a red Apple logo, so I'm going to search for that. Okay, that one looks like a good one. And the next thing I'm going to do is change the background of the login screen. And I think the time machine background is pretty cool, so I'm going to do that. Okay, there we go. So first what you want to do is, is open up Seashore. Don't need that. And you want to open the generic background picture that we chose. Now, the reason why we're going to do this is because when we go to put in the picture of the Apple logo, you don't want it to have a white background, you want it to have a gray background. Like this. See, no white, gray. Okay. So next we're going to open up the Apple logo. Okay. Click on that. You can use this tool right here, which takes the color of whatever you click on. So click on that. And click on that. Apple Paint Bucket. And click. And there you go. So I'm going to save that. And get rid of that. Now the next thing you want to do is resize it. Now, in order for it to fit, it needs to be 90 by 90. Okay. Now, this is where the tricky stuff comes in. To find the images for the Apple logo in the background that are already on your computer, you're going to want to go to Finder, go to your hard drive, System, Library, services and there it is right there default desktop now what you want to do is you can click on the picture that you want to be your desktop get info and you're gonna to want to rename it default desktop dot jpeg excuse me no there we go now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this, drag it to the trash, enter the password, and I'm going to drag that. Excuse. Okay, there we go. Now, to change the Apple logo, you're going to, in that same folder, you're going to just keep scrolling down until you get to security agent. So you can right click on that, show package contents, contents, resources, and right there is the Apple logo. Now, what I need to do is I need to just do the same thing, rename, scroll down, and rename it Apple Logo. TIF. Use TIFF, yes. Now I'm going to take that, drag it to the trash. And place that right there. Okay, now another thing you can do is change the thing on the screen that says 
Mac OS X right there, which is going to be this thing right here. Now, I like the way it looks, so I'm not going to change that. Now, there's an easier way to do this. You just have to download uh, a program, and it's called SuperDocker. So once you, I'll put the links to all these stuff in the uh, in the right of the bot of the video. So then you want to go to system. All right there, login screen background. You can click choose. Just click on one, whichever one you want to do. It'll be set as that. And another thing you, it's a kind of cool application. It's called Deeper. Always have to enter your password. Now you click on login and you can enter a message right here. Now let's say I wanted to say something cool like enter your password to begin. Alright, and there you go. Um, so those applications are Super Docker and Deeper. Um, so that's it. If you guys have any questions, you guys can email me, comment me, or message me. And actually, I have a, an IM2. It's Mac OS X Space Tutorials. I couldn't get the 12 because you can only have 16 characters. But, yeah. So, uh... See ya.